Oh, will you look at that? Nintendo Directs. Finally, again, like we've all wanted. Eh, not quite. <laughs> eh, if you can see, it says, Catch a new Nintendo Direct focused exclusively on Nintendo 3DS games on September 1st at 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Um, Europe was the first one to announce this. It was this morning. And on theirs, it actually says, um, at the bottom, please note that the presentation will not feature any updates on NX and mobile. What are you doing, Nintendo? Like, I'm excited. Yes, I, I love my 3DS. I'm excited for new content. But I'm, I'm trying to think how substantial a direct like this could be. Right now, you have major players in just in the tech and just just in in the tech field in general that are about to show off some major things this later you know next month this month september whatever you want whatever you want to call it um you know sony's got the playstation event um uh apple's got their iphone thing event we already know microsoft is hyping the crap out of the scorpio and shit so the fact of the matter is it's we're like seven months till the NX releases, and we still have no we have no idea what it is. There was another rumor that came out today, something about a share button like the PS4 and uh, swappable D pads that aren't connected, just like the PS4. Which I, I'm tired of all these rumors, rumors. Well, this one's source, this one's source, this one came from Eurogamer, this one came from Emily Rogers, this one came from 4chan, this one came from uh, from Reddit for this or that. It's like, oh my God, just stop. <laughs> Let's just get a direct uh, presentation or whatnot for the NX. We need it soon. I've been waiting for the announcement. So it's funny because when I when I when I looked on Go Nintendo today and I seen Europe had a Nintendo Direct for 3DS, I was just like Nintendo 3DS Direct out of everything. The thing is, out of everything that Nintendo has, 3DS has games coming out for the rest of the year. Now, the Wii U has games, but it's only a couple, like, what the Wii U has is, I'm not complaining because I think the Wii U is getting some great content, but it has indie games, it has indie games getting retail re-releases, it has a couple odds and ends here, like Paper Mario Color Splash. So, the 3DS, I mean, I'm not, I'm going to be honest, the 3DS, yes, has a little bit more of a bigger lineup than that, so it makes sense to at least, like, give the Wii U a little bit more, um... You know, but at the same time, like, it's just like, the 3DS doesn't have too much anyway. It's obvious at this point they're focusing everything on NX. They're focusing, like, 90% of the resources on NX. It's completely obvious at this point. That's why I think, I don't know why they're doing this. They should have, they, instead, because I, I don't know if it's going to be substantial enough. What I think is going to happen, my actual predictions for this, it's 3DS only. My predictions are it's going to be pretty much DLC out the ass. Um, we already know there's going to be more Fire Emblem Face DLC. There's some DLC I think that Japan has that we don't have yet. I could be wrong on that. I'm not really a fan of, of uh, Fates, so I haven't really been following it, but that's just what, I, what I've what i heard. Um, so there's that. Hyrule Warriors Legends, obviously, getting third DLC pack, which is, I think it's the... Not the Link's... No, we already got the Link's Awakening. It's the... Uh, which one is it? The uh, Link Between Worlds or the, or the DS... Phantom Hourglass. It's one of them. I forgot which one, um, but I know th that we're due for that pretty soon here. Um, we're probably going to get more Sun and Moon news, which is cool. We can always use more Sun and Moon news. I know everyone's complaining about we're getting too much Sun and Moon news, but you know what? You know, I'm, I'm glad to see more of that game instead of all the you know circle jerking for Pokemon Go. That's just my opinion, though. I I'm very excited for Sun and Moon. Um, but other games that are coming out, it's like, we already know because they've been in Japan for so long. Like, Dragon Quest Seven, we don't need to really see that. I, I'm, I'm excited as hell for Dragon Quest Seven. Do not get me wrong. I will be buying a day one and playing the hell out of it. Big Dragon Quest fan, and Dragon Quest Seven is one of the Dragon Quest games I have never played, just because I've never been able to secure a copy of it on the original PS1. So I'm, I'm damned excited to play it. But the thing is, it's been out in Japan for like three years. We know what this Dragon Quest VII remake is all about. We know the content of it. We don't need to see it in a, in a North American Direct. And honestly, if, if people are going to say, well, there might not be people who know about the Japanese or don't follow it or whatever. Well, well, 
if those same people aren't going to follow stuff that's been announced like online, we're talking about on basic sites like IGN and stuff for the past several years, then they're not going to be following Nintendo Directs. It's honestly the same kind of audience. Um, the people who watch Nintendo Directs are the people who keep up with the stuff via social media and other and other media sites. So, I mean, we don't need to see Dragon Quest Seven. We don't need to see um, Yo-Kai Watch 2. Again, as much as I love Yo-Kai Watch, and I'm damned excited for the next for, for, for Yo-Kai Watch 2, it's been out in Japan for a while. We know what it entails, you know. It's like, and then the other, everything else, there's like a bunch of indies and stuff that's coming out, just like Wii U. They just announced the whole thing of Wendy's Indies the other day. So, um, what about that Galaxy New 3DS? They did a video on that yesterday for North America. Maybe that'll be in Europe's direct. I don't know, but again, it's just it's just something. I don't know. I don't know what else they could really do. I know. Um, I mean, the only other thing I can think of is that they start repackaging more stuff. Like maybe if they announce a physical release for uh, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix for the U.S. because we never got a physical release, which kind of sucked. But maybe if they do that. But I just don't see how it's. It's gonna be that substantial. Um, I mean, if it, if it, if, if they want, they could easily just announce more games that are in Japan that we could be getting, like Dragon Ball Fusions. I would love if Namkai Bando, oh my God, I, I fucked that up. Namco Bandai um, brought over Dragon Ball Fusions because I'm I'm very excited to play that game. But as of yet, there's no date outside of Japan. I know also this morning Brazil got it recently rated, which is kind of strange, but um, but um, yeah, no announcement for that in, in the U.S. That'd be a game that'd be awesome. I'll, I'll definitely pick that up day one. If you're listening, Namco Bandai, release it in North America. I will buy it day one. <laughs> now all we gotta do is get a ton of other people to buy it day one to justify bringing it over here. But come on, I, I'm pretty sure if you advertise it enough. Because they're advertising the fuck out of, out of uh, Xenoverse 2. If they use that same amount of advertising for Dragon Ball Fusions, <clears throat> you will make your money back. Because Dragon Ball is very popular in the past couple of years. It's gotten its resurgence back, just like Pokemon. Bring over Dragon Ball Fusions, you know? But that'd be sweet. I, I would love that. Um, <clears throat> the next Amiibo, the, um, I, I, I talked about this yesterday. Um, Bayonetta, Corn, and Cloud. We still don't have dates for those. Technically... Technically, because Smash is on 3DS, technically that would constitute as 3DS news because the Amiibo can be used with a 3DS game. So technically, um, so let's um, um, let's hope they announce those because it's been several months, and those are the last three ones we need to complete the Smash Brothers set. You know, so we need to get those. Hopefully for those. Um, as far as other stuff, there's nothing else that I can really, really think of. Um, I mean, I'm looking at. <clears throat> I'm looking at the 3DS like release dates and stuff, and I mean, really, you think about it. Like I said, Dragon Quest Seven, we don't need to see any more of that. Look at Watch Two, really don't need to see any more of that. Disney Magical World Two, another game that I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure has been out in Japan for a while. So again, we know about that. Uh, maybe Mario Party Star Rush. Maybe if they talk more about that, but then again, they just announced a shit ton of information about that. We know all the modes now because they presented it at one convention not that long ago. I don't know if it was PAX or something, but um, Azure Strike Gun Vault 2, we know a lot about it. Sonic Boom Fire Nice, we know a lot about it. Like I'm just looking at stuff. There, the 3S lineup is packed. There's a lot of stuff coming for the rest of the year, and I'm trying to figure this out. So I really, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys... I just wish this was the NX um, thing. Maybe they'll announce the NX press release at the end of the year. Who? I mean, at the, I mean, at the end of the direct. You know, who knows? I just hope we get that soon. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, leave a comment below. What are you guys hoping to see? What do you guys think of this? You know, you happy? Excited? You annoyed? You know, wish it was an X. You, you know, wish it was more Wii U. What do you think? You know, leave me a comment below, and I will catch you guys later. As always.